I am Pratiksha Bhalerao from Tank Road MBA Secondary School, Bandu. And today we are going to learn about, we are going to revise about excretion. Uh, we are learning life process in living organisms. In that we are going to learn about what is excretion, excretion in plants, excretion in human beings, kidneys, about nephron, about dialysis. So let us start. First, before starting, let us discuss something like at least a small quantity of garbage or waste is produced every day in each house. What will happen if you keep this garbage for many days in your house? We know that if this type of garbage is get collected into our house for so many days, then what will happen? Then the infection rate will increase, then the bacteria, uh, the germs will breed uh, rapidly and uh, then the flies and mosquitoes will grow over here and what will happen after sometimes we fall ill so many harmful and waste substances like urea uric acid ammonia etc are produced in living organisms if these substances accumulate in the body or are retained in the body for a long time it can lead to severe harm or serious harm or even death Hence, it is necessary to remove such harmful and waste substances from the body. So we need to remove all these harmful substances from body time to time. Otherwise, what will happen? Then it will uh, make us harm. So different organisms have different methods of doing this. A removal of waste material substances from the body is called as excretion. See the definition Removal of waste or harmful substances from the body is called as excretion. You need to read, you need to learn by hand the definition of excretion. Removal of waste or harmful substances from the body is called as excretion. Different organisms have different methods of doing this. Each and every um, uh, organisms have different methods. Suppose removal or uh, uh, in uh, unicellular organisms, suppose waste materials are directly eliminated across the cell surface. They are directly removing out or flushing out uh, this uh, um, waste material from the surface. Whereas the process of excretion in multicellular is complex. In unicellular, we know that the difference between what are unicellular organisms and what are multicellular organisms. Unicellular means which are made up of only a single cell or one cell. Huh? Like we know that are amoeba, paramecium, euglena, hydra, these are unicellular organisms. Multicellular means the organism which are made up of more than two cells and you know, many cells. Multi means many cells is called as multicellular organism. So the process of removing of this excretion in unicellular organisms is simple because why? They directly eliminated this um, waste material across the cell surface. But in uh, multicellular organisms, this uh, mechanism is a little bit complex. So see the material excreted, which are the material excreted by these unicellular, multicellular organisms like nitrogenous waste, in that urea, uric acid, and urine, uh, access of water in the form of sweat and urine, gases and different and salts. See in unicellular organism, you can see some examples of unicellular organisms in front, amoeba, paramecium, sponge, and hydra. So waste materials are directly eliminated across the surface. Waste materials are directly um, uh, uh, see, you can see the uh, amoeba and the waste material which is removing out from the surface, which is called as diffusion by the process of diffusion. What is diffusion? Means movement of anything from a higher concentration level region to lower concentration region is called as diffusion. So you can see examples of unicellular amoeba, paramecium, sponge, and hydra. Okay. So retention of unwanted or, or you can see uh, two pictures in front of you in that in one picture garbage, you can see garbage here and there it is thrown everywhere, okay? And in the second picture, you can see bins are there, kept over there and a proper naming of, uh, is there like green, then uh, paper in blue, plastic in red, then cans in yellows. So, uh, Retention of unwanted and harmful substance in the body is also like danger. Sorry. So, so first, um, 
what will happen if this garbage is is uh, do not remove from here time to time what will happen then as i told uh, like the germs and bacteria different organism microorganisms get um breed rapidly in, in that in these flies and mosquitoes mosquitoes uh, will get their uh, increase in population then they make us fall ill by uh, entering in our home entering and uh, uh, landing on our food surface in the food whatever we eat through that germs get inside our body and we we fall ill so we need to remove it time to time otherwise Uh, we fall ill so likewise only retention of unwanted and harmful substances in the body is also dangerous as just as the process of excretion occurs in living organism similarly proper disposable of garbage produced in our locality and home is also necessary this will help uh, us to lead a healthy life okay so which type of different um, diseases uh, by which we suffer due to this like cholera dysentery diarrhea these are different types of uh, diseases which uh, takes place inside our body so it's 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 important to dispose this garbage in a proper way in our society we can see two types of bins is shown blue and green blue means in which wet garbage is to be collected and green in which dry garbage is to be collected so it is a proper way to dispose dispose anything otherwise what will happen uh, due to increase in the population of these germs insects for, and our different uh, microorganisms we fall in now excretion in plants and excretion in animals excretion in plants uh, see you can see uh, before going ahead we will discuss some points like why the leaves of plants fall off in a particular season why this happen we need to uh, going to learn it okay fruits flowers off after a certain period of time substances like resin gum etc are given out of the body so see uh we have already learned about this in our prior, prior, earlier lecture uh, about excretion in plants we know that excretion plants what happen uh, in cell plant cell inside that vacuole is present and this vacuole um is uh, the um, collect all the excretory material for the plant okay even in fruits and in flowers also so after a particular time it fall off now excretion is simpler process in plants than in animals as we have seen in unicellular organism it is easier than in multicellular likewise in plants it is simple process and in uh, uh, any uh, animals it is a little bit complex process okay so excretion is simpler process in plants than in animals there is no special organ or special system for excretion in plants they do not have any type of special organ is organ so gaseous substances are given out by diffusion and most of the waste substances of plants are stored in vacuoles of leaf cells and in flowers fruits and bark of the stem i as i told like it stored its uh, the garbage is sorry excretory material in the vacuoles of leaf cells uh flowers fruits and bark of the stem so after some time these parts get fall off and some other waste materials are also stored in the old and worn xylem in the form of resin and gum some waste materials are also given out through roots into the surrounding soil see uh, you can see the picture uh, the first picture it is cell it's plant cell in that the blue color portion is vacuole over here the excretory material get um collected in the second picture you can see resin uh, is there and the third picture you can see uh, rubber uh, plant is shown over there so these are the excretory material so um we it is a simpler process and uh, by diffusion the gases are coming out uh, diffusion means we know that uh, and uh, we know that movement of anything from higher concentration region to lower concentration region so excretion is simpler in plants than in animals uh, excretion uh, in plants takes place in the vacuole flowers fruits bark of stem so after some time when it get full it will fall off now we need to discuss some interesting parts 
you need to observe and find while your mother cuts arum leaves or elephants means elephants food means suran you have been when you go to market you can see this two types of things like first is arum leaves and second is suran ring elephant food okay so why the uh, your hands may get begin to itch if you try to cut this why this happens because waste materials are present in the form of crystals of calcium oxalate and they are called raphids they are called raphid as they are needle shaped they prickle and cause irritation of the skin so see the whatever the waste material excretion in plants we know that it presents inside the vacuole flowers fruits bark of the stems right but and likewise only in these leaves and in this um, elephant foot suran uh, this uh, Uh, waste material is present in the form of crystals of calcium oxalates, which are called raphids, and these are of needle shape. When we so when we touch it, we get prickle sensation and cause it cause irritation to our skin also. So some waste materials of plants are useful to humans, and for example, gum, resin, latex of uh, rubber, etc. then there some useful material uh, waste materials of plants to human see gum in the first picture you usually see uh, the, uh, the excretory material that is called gum then resin and then latex of rubber okay so when we transfer cut the tree in transversely we can, we found this type of uh, sticky substance over there which is called as resin and the liquidy white color portion which is come out from the rubber is called as lattice of rubber which has been collected and sent to the industries to be processed and to make different things which are useful for us now going ahead for excretion in human being excretion in human being okay so um we know that in plants the process of excretion is simpler whereas in human being it is but a little bit complex okay so uh, there are different organ systems in the human body to bring about the different life processes such as the digestive system for digestion of food respiratory system for respiration we know that digestive system and respiratory system the process of digestion leading to energy production is an important process of our body so various waste materials are formed during this process and the removal of these waste from the body is very important and it is a excretory system that carried out this function excretory system carries carries out this function so there are different organs in organ human body to bring about different life processes like while digestion digestion while respiration excretory material is you get collect and we remove we need to remove this excretory material you can see in the picture digestive system and respiratory system in digestive system what will, what will happen we eat through mouth then it goes to the uh, food canal then from there it goes into the stomach and some of the nutrients get absorb over here then it goes to a uh, small intestine again some of the uh, in a um, nutrients get absorb over here then th in the um, A large intestine and through stomach it get uh, uh, flush out from the body. Okay, so while doing this digestive system, so excretory material is get collected, which is need to be removed from the body. In respiration also, when we breathe or inhale the uh, inhale uh, with the help of the nose, it goes into the windpipe. Then through that it goes into the lungs. And through there it goes into bronchi. And all over there, alveoli is there. What will happen to this alveoli? This happen. This alveoli sends this ex um, uh, transfer this uh, um, oxygen which is inhaled by our nose to the bloodstream. And through the bloodstream it gets circulated in the whole body. and while uh, whole body then it gets uh, oxygenated and then again it's an, uh, then at the time of this process the waste gas material which is called as carbon dioxide is produced and again we need to exhale it from our body so while doing this process so um, um, uh, we, um leading uh, while doing this what will happen 
so many waste materials are formed during this process so removal of this waste material from the body is very important and it is the excretory system that carries out this function the human excretory system consists of a pair of kidney you can see a pair of kidney in the picture you can see pair of kidney the red color portion is called as kidney you just observe it carefully then a pair of ureters the urinary bladder the urethra okay so human excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters the urinary bladder and the urethra urine is formed by the kidneys by separating the waste and unwanted excess substances from the blood so urine is formed by kidneys while uh, do, uh, at the time of process of filtration and separating the waste and unwanted success uh, excess um, substances from the blood so always remember that the right kidney is slightly lower than the left one due to the presence of liver on it are uh, a pair of kidneys which is bean shaped then ureters and urethra the two bean shaped kidneys are situated on either side of the vertebral column on the posterior uh, side of abdomen the functional unit of the kidney that performs the basic function of filtration is called as nephron is called as nephron so again uh, two bean shaped kidneys which are situated on either side of the vertebral column on the posterior side of the abdomen the functional unit of the kidney that performs the basic function of filtration is called as nephron what it is called as nephron n e f r o n okay so it is the fun functional unit or basic unit of a kidney which is known as nephron each nephron has a cup like it is of cup like thin walled upper part called bowman's capsule called bowman's capsule okay bowman's capsule the network of capillaries in it is called as glomerulus it is called as glomerulus the urea produced in the liver the urea produced in the liver comes into the blood blood and when the urea containing blood comes into the glomerulus it is filtered through its capillaries and our urea and other similar substances are separated from so each nephron has a cup like thin walled upper part called the bowman's capsule the network of capillaries in it is called as glomerulus and the urea produced in the liver comes into the blood when the urea containing blood comes into the glomerulus it is filtered through this capillary capillaries and urea and other substances are separated from it then you can see the two bean shaped kidneys are situated on the either side of the vertebral column on the posterior side of the abdomen water molecules and some uh, small molecules of small some other substances and can cross the semi permeable membrane of uh, bowman's capsule hmm. uh, in the picture you can see glomerulus is there shown in over uh, there the, the solution accumulated in the cavity of human sorry bowman's capsule passes into the tubular part of the nephron passes into the tubular form of the nephron and here molecules of water and some other useful substances are really absorbed into the blood so urine is formed from the remaining solution is carried by the uh, ureters and stored in the urinary bladder afterwards urine is given out through the urethra and the urinary bladder is a muscular and it is under the control of our nerves hence we are able to keep a control on urination 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 though the kidneys are main organs of excretion in human beings the skin and the lungs are also help in the process of excretion the right kidney is in slightly lower position than the left one each kidney has approximately 10 lakh nephrons and uh, the nephron such structural functional unit of uh, sorry structural uh, structural functional unit of kidneys 
Okay. So the right kidney is slightly lower position than the left one. Each kidney has approximately 10 lakh uh, nephrons and the approximately 5 liter of blood which is present in the normal healthy person's body is filtered by the kidneys about 400 times every day. 400 times every day. Thus, every day the kidneys filter about 190 liters of blood from which about 1 to 1.9 liters of urine is form and the remaining liquid is reabsorbed. The remaining liquid is reabsorbed. So understood the right kidney is in slightly lower than the left one and each kidney has approximately 10 lakh nephrons. The approximately 5 liter of blood which is present in the normal healthy person's body is filtered by the kidneys and about 400 of times every day. And thus the every day, the kidneys filter about 190 liters of blood from which about 1 to 1.9 liters of urine is formed. And the remaining liquid is reabsorbed in the body. Now dialysis. Dialysis means the efficiency of kidneys can be adversely affected. Sometimes what will happen, uh, the efficiency of kidneys are adversely affected by injury, infection or in decreased uh, blood supply. In such case, what will happen an excess of toxic substance accumulates in the body and it can lead to death. If kidneys fail, nitrogenous waste are separated from the blood with the help of a man-made machine. The process of separating uh, the nitrogenous waste from blood with the help of this machine is called as dialysis. And about 500 milliliter of blood is sent at one time through the machine. Purified is, uh, blood is reinfused into the body of the patient. So understood by this, is if sometimes the efficiency of kidneys will get failed, what will happen? We need to, uh, suppose we need to uh, remove the waste material from the body, but the kidneys get failed in that. So at that time, um, nitrogenous waste are separated from the blood with the help of a man-made machine which is called as dialyzer. In that what will happen, they uh, they remove, you, you can see in the first picture, blood removed from the cleansing, cleansing, it goes in dialyzer, then over there it gets filtered. Whatever the extra uh, things are there, they, they get uh, um, excreted. Uh, sorry, they get removed and whatever the important, sorry, the useful blood or the blood returned to the body, clean blood, again, it is returned to the body. So this is also is called as dialysis. And about 500 ml of blood is sent at one time from um, through this machine and purified blood is reinfused into the body of the patient. So, uh, quickly recap it, what we have learned. Excretion means uh, many harmful may waste substances like urea, uric acid, ammonia, etc. are produced in living organisms. If these substances accumulate in the body or are retained in the body for a long time, what will happen? It can lead to serious harm or even death. Hence, it is necessary to remove such harmful and waste substances from the body. Different organisms have different methods of doing this removal of waste or harmful substances from the body is called as excretion. And in unicellular organism, waste materials are directly eliminated across the cell surface, whereas the process of excretion in multicellular organisms is complex. They do not have any, um, 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 unicellular organisms do not have any specialized uh, organs to remove of waste material, they directly remove waste from the body surface. If retention of unwanted and harmful substance in the body is dangerous, uh, dangerous, hence, just as the process of excretion uh, occurs in living organisms, similarly, proper disposable of the locality and home is also necessary. This will help you lead a healthy life. This will help you lead a healthy life. Excretion is simpler process in plants than in animals. Uh, there uh, is no special organ or system for excretion in plants. Gaseous substances are given out by diffusion. 
most of the waste substances of the plants are stored in vacuoles of leaf cells and in flowers fruits and bark of the stem after some time these parts fall off some other waste materials are stored in the in old and in old and worn xylem in the form of resin and gum some waste materials are also given out through roots into the surrounding cell uh whenever our mama uh, makes uh, food with the help of the arum leaves of student what will happen uh waste materials are present in the form of crystal of calcium oxalate and they are called as refits and as as they are needle shaped they prickle uh, and cause irritation to our skin so some waste materials of plants and useful um to humans for example gum resin latex etc are stored over there then excretion in human waste excretion in plants is little bit uh, easier than the excretion in human waste there are different systems in the body to bring about the different life process such as digestive system for digestion of food respiratory system for respiration etc the process of digestion leading to energy production is an important process of our body various waste materials are formed during this process and the removal of this waste from the body is very important and it is a excretory system that carries out this function the human excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters the urinary bladder and the urethra urine is formed by the kidneys by separating the waste and unwanted substances uh, from the blood two bean shaped kidneys are situated on either side of the vertebral column on the posterior side of abdomen uh, the functional unit of the kidney that performs the basic function of filtration is called as ref nephron each nephron has a cup like thin walled upper part we call the bowman's capsule uh, the network of capillaries in it is called glomerulus the urea produced in the liver comes into the blood when the urea containing the blood containing the blood comes into the glomerulus it is filtered through its capillaries and urea and other similar substances are separated from it water molecules and small molecules of some other substances can cross the semi permeable membrane of bowman's capsule the solution accumulated in the cavity of bowman's capsule passes into the tubular part of the nephron here molecules of water and some other useful substances are reabsorbed into the blood urine is formed from the remaining solution which is full of waste materials the urine is carried by the ureters and stored in the urinary bladder afterwards urine is given out through the urethra and the urinary bladder is muscular and is under the control of nerves hence we are able to keep a control on keep a control on um, on uh, urination though the kidneys are main organs of excretion in human beings the skin and the lungs also helps in the process of excretion now um, the right kidney is in a slightly lower position than left each kidney has approximately 10 lakh nephrons uh, the approximately 5 liter of blood which is present in the normal healthy person's body is filtered by the kidneys and uh, kidneys about 400 times every day thus every day the kidneys filter about 190 liters of the blood from which about 1 to 1.9 liters of urine is formed the remaining liquid is reabsorbed the remaining liquid get reabsorbed then dialysis the efficiency of kidneys can be adversely affected by injury infection or, or decrease of body supply blood supply sorry in case this happen an excess of toxic substances accumulates in the body and it can lead to death if kidneys fail nitrogenous waste are separated from the blood with the help of a man made machine the process of separating the nitrogenous waste from the blood with the help of these uh, with the help of this uh, machine is called as dialysis and about um 500 to 4 500 of blood is sent at one time through this machine purified blood is reinfused into the body of the patient so till that we have learned all the 
things now evaluation you need to draw a well level diagram of human excretory system you will get this excretory system diagram uh, on page number 167 you need to draw a whole diagram it is very easy and but very important you need to draw two um, kidneys uh, you need to uh, draw one kidney slightly lower because right side kidney is slightly lower than the left one then pair of ureters urethra bladder and urethra you need to draw all these things if they will ask about nephron again then the diagram of nephron you need to draw how does excretion in plants useful you need to tell them how it is useful in plant, uh, plants uh, uh, the excretion of plants are useful because the flowers we eat is the excretory material of the plant which is useful for us the leaves we eat even the fruits we eat is are the very much important for a human life okay so you need to explain all these thing then the how does excretion occur in human being in human being how does it occur you need to tell all the things you need to structure of the you need to explain the structure of the kidneys then again the process of uh, filtration about nephron and all these things so you will get all the good marks okay so till this um these are the question these are the question for homework you need to uh, um, complete it and uh, write it in homework note okay so for today we'll stop here thank you so much